nag-abiso ng transport network company na Grab Philippines na posibleng manghingi ng ID ang ilang driver nila bago pasakay ng mga pasahero nito. Kasunod po ito ng pagkamatay ng kalang driver na si Gerardo Makidato Jr. mula sa kamay ng mga pasaherong nagbook sa kanya. Dati na nakilala si Makidato dahil sa kanyang kabutihan sa mga pasahero at nang hindi siya tumanggap ng bayad mula sa hinatid niyang pasahero na nagpapadialysis. Paano ba matitiyak ang kaligtasan ng mga driver at pasahero ng mga transport network companies? Para po sa gutin yan, kasama natin si Mr. Brian Ku, ang country manager ng Grab Philippines. Sir, good sure. evening and uh, good evening. thank you for joining us at Reaction. Sir, una-una, ano po yung latest dun sa kaso ni uh, Makidato? Well, sa kasalukuyan, nakikipag-coordinate naman kami sa Pasay Police, sa PNP, at I think NBI will be looking into the case also. Mm. Uh, meron na si po silang uh, persons of interest sa case. Persons of interest, hindi po suspects? Hindi pa po suspects. Based on the data na pinovide namin tungkol dun sa mga naging huling pasahero ni ni Sir Junji mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully that will give them leads kung sino ang posible yung mga suspect uh, mm -hmm. dito sa kaso na ito. Mm -hmm. Sir, di ba yung mga TNVS eh, pag merong nag-book niyan, normally meron niyang nagawang profile ahead of time yes. uh, of some sort. Yes. So, so may profile tayo ng driver, at least yung niregister niyang profile. Correct. Hindi lang natin sigurado kung ito'y lehitimo o totoo. Well, tungkol sa drivers, uh, sure driver, po tayo. Yung mga anpala, pasahero. Sa pasahero po, um, ang nire-require lang po kasi natin para makapag-rehistro ay ang uh, prepaid or postpaid number po nila. Ng Mobile number lang po, ng SIM card. Mm -hmm. um, based on that, makakuha sila ng confirmation. Uh, and then, up to them po, maglagay ng uh, kanilang pangalan uh, dun sa system. Which mm -hmm. is something that we're looking at na in the future, we, we will require na full name na talagang ilagay. Mm -hmm. Ang ginawa na po namin, nag-clean up po kami ng database. Lahat po ng okay. mga pasahero na walang pangalan or or isa lang yung pangalan, kulang yung pangalan, or hindi naman tama yung nakalagay, um, we're starting to take them out of the system, uh, requiring them to put the full name. Kung mag verification process uh, of yes, some sir. sort, that will be more, 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 uh, mas uh, sigurado. Uh, kasi kung, kung pwede yung one name lang eh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hindi naman tayo mga Indonesians. Minsan gulay nga, gulay nga nilalagay nila instead of yung, yung pangalan eh. And that's not safe rin for the drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think about it, no, passengers, would ride one trip a day, for example. And that, that one trip is yun risk factor nila. Mm -hmm. But for a driver who would take 20 trips a day, there's 20 times that he's put himself at a, in potential harm's way. Mm -hmm. uh, so driver safety is, is very important. Uh, that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Sir, sir balik ako yung kaso ni uh, Makidato. So, meron tayong persons of interest pa lamang. Pero I, I, from what I uh, read, eh, nakailang invitations na ng persons of interest yung uh, mga police. Yes. So they're going through the list of the passengers that they that uh, they have of Makidato for that day. Yes. Um, I think going through the last few passengers that he had on that day, leading up po dun sa time na pagkamatay ni Sir Junji. Mm -hmm. um, anything you can tell us about the case itself uh, without, of course, divulging information that could... Uh... It's an ongoing investigation. It's hard to to give out details po na, ano, eh, that, that might uh, impact the, the way the investigation is mm -hmm. but, but you uh, have offered uh, some sort of uh, compensation or reward, I think, yes. for uh, for information. Correct. So we've offered a 100,000 peso reward for any information na pwede po mag-lead sa capture ng uh, perpetrators mm -hmm. uh, ng hideous crime na ito. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, ito nga, lumabas sa balita uh, nung isang araw na meron ng uh, mga driver na maaring manghingi yes. ng uh, ID. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, it. Is it official policy or not yet? It's, it's not official policy. It's not an official policy of Grab. Uh, however, we're not also asking the drivers to stop doing it. Uh, importante po ang safety ng ating mga ka-Grab partners hmm. out there. Uh, so if they do require an ID, pag na-feel na nila po na medyo suspicious yung lugar, or medyo suspicious po yung sumasakay, uh, if it adds safety to them, um, they're, they're going to ask for an ID. So what we've done is we've released a statement to our riding public, to the passengers, na maaari po maka-experience sila ng ibang mga drivers na humihingi po ng ID. Na huwag naman sila maalarma pag nangyari ito, ginagawa lang po ng mga ating mga grab partners na ito for their own safety. Pero it is not company policy. It is not yet company policy. Mm, do you plan to make it company policy? Uh, why, not put it on, uh, why not put it in writing or put it on zone? When you think about technology companies, uh, it adds anything physical adds friction to the process. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying business should come over life, right? But there might be a technolo technological solution na pwede pong i-apply na kung saan mag-pre-register na lang si pasahero sa app mm -hmm. uh, with that ID or pipicture na lang niya para po masama yun mm -hmm. doon sa kanyang passenger profile. Mm -hmm. And once verified, uh, then the driver will also know that it's a verified profile para po hindi na siya ma-alarma ma or or malagay sa panganib ang kanyang uh, 
sa lobby. Mm-hmm. Sir, yung mga ibang TNV sa ibang bansa, uh, anong sistema nila? I mean, um, I'm sure we can learn a few things from them and they can learn a few things from us. Pero, uh, for example, other TNV SS in other countries, um, how do they verify the passenger? Actually, to be honest, other TNV SS in other countries don't verify the passenger. It's always been towards the safety of the passenger. Mm-hmm. So they always the consumer, ver- on the consumer. So they always verify the driver. Um, like for us, we put in NBI clearance, police clearance, um, and government IDs, uh, which includes, of course, the professional driver's license. Para po dun sa driver. Pero wala po pong TNVS na nag-iisip on how to verify the identity of the passenger towards the safety uh, of the driver. So we'd like to be the first uh, to be able to do that mm-hmm. uh, and be able to come up with solutions, po, technological uh, solutions built within the app so it's still easy to use. Uh, para po masigurado, masigurado natin na safe rin ang ating mga grab partners. Mm, have you identified already any sort of solution for this? Uh, we, we have, but I, I cannot reveal it here because once we do, then the criminals will know how to go around. Sir, yung family ni Makidato, uh, kamusta naman? I uh, understand that he's a family man. He has four he kids. Is, he has four kids. Uh, he celebrated his birthday two days ago. So it's very unfortunate po nangyari. I, when I visited uh, the first uh, night uh, when it happened po, so ang uh, hiling lang po ni Mrs. ay ay mad, ma, bigyan ng hustisya po ang, ang nangyari sa kanyang mister. So that's why we offered that reward. I really want the, whoever captured him, whether it's a lone person or a syndicate, to be captured mm-hmm. uh, and, and brought to justice. Have we established, uh, have the police established the motives? Uh, for example, was it robbery? Did they take uh, his earnings for the day? They, they took the car. Uh, so they took the car. So it was a car napping, uh, carjacking incident. Mm-hmm. Is this a, uh, the first time this has happened or... May ibang uh, mga pagkakataong may nakarnap na nag It's the first time that violence, that this kind of violence uh, was done towards the driver. Pero in the history of Grab, of the millions of rides that we've that we've provided, there has been six incidents po of car napping um, that we've, uh, that, that was brought to our attention. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that's a very, very small percentage compared po dun sa number of rides na, na sir servisyo. For example, in a day or in a, in a week, uh, ilan bang rides? In in a week, we do close to three million rides. Ah, really? Yes. So six six uh, incidents lang of car napping. Yes. Correct. Ah, okay, that's relatively small, nga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero sir, for example, car napping uh, could easily be didn't resolve that, eh, pero could easily be uh, uh, addressed by, for example, GPS. Diba? It could. So that's why we encourage the drivers to put uh, dash cams or GPS units. We're looking at helping subsidize po some some units for them also para po mailagay nila sa kanila mga sasakyan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sir, well generally we've talked so far about uh, the passenger security yes. and uh, well the briefly we've also talked about uh, the driver security. Yes. But let's head in that direction. So sa ibang bansa pala nobody has ever bothered to go that far in driver security? No, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, with the whole ride hailing business, it was always more geared towards passenger security. Ganun po yung naging unang mga tanong nung sinumulan namin tong uh, business na ito. Um, and it's similar questions in the other countries po. Na how do we ensure that passengers are safe? But we also should be asking, how do we ensure that our drivers, our, our partners are also kept safe? Mm-hmm. This is the first, ba? the first violent incident. The first violent incident, yes, on the on the Grab platform. What about other TNVSs? Uh, have you heard of any uh, in in the past? Um, I heard of someone thrown off a bridge uh, after the car was carjacked, uh, but that did not happen on on the Grab platform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Has it affected, sir? Uh, I don't know availability of uh, of uh, vehicles, uh, prices, uh, or the business in general. Prices, hindi po na affect, um, but in terms of drivers being a bit more fearful. Uh, that's why itong no ID policy uh, in-implement ng mga iba't ibang mga driver groups. Uh, the fear is there. Um, and uh, you know, we're trying to respond to that fear by coming up with ways uh, to to help you know, re- reduce that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sir, oh, okay. Um, of course, in the, end, uh, in the end, you're looking at an economy that's generally uh, uh, revolving around uh, the consumer or, mm-hmm. or the passenger. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about passenger safety and mm-hmm. center around that. What uh, what other measures or mechanisms do you would you suggest uh, for both the safety of the passenger and the driver? Well, for the passenger, there's a feature na share my ride. So every time they, they book a grab, 
uh, they can share the ride with the loved one. So, natatrack po yung GPS na yun. So, alam po nun ng... Uh, this is real time? This is real time. So, if, for example, my wife would share her ride with me, may kita ko po real time kung nasaan na siya. Oh, di ba delikado yun? <laughs> delikado sa akin. <laughs> uh, but, um, but uh, that, that feature exists. It has existed since the start. Um, now, what we're looking at is putting an SOS button, both on the passenger and the oh, okay. driver side of the app. So, if na-alarma sila. Alarm button. Yes, button. yes. And that goes straight to our security team um, na, na motorized. So, pwede nilang puntahan um, based on the, geo, the coordinates of mm -hmm. both the passenger or the driver. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that'll be good. So, but I don't think a lot of people know about this, uh, the real-time tracking. Yes. So, uh, we haven't, I mean, we haven't really pushed that feature because we thought that a lot of people know about it. So, maybe we need to come up with a new awareness campaign. Mm. Para, uh, delicious. <laughs>